July 26, 2004 St. Catherine of Siena I send greetings to my brothers and sisters who struggle so valiantly for Jesus. I am with you. We, your brothers and sisters in heaven, know your struggles well. You will not encounter anything for the first time in this heavenly family. There is always someone who faced a similar struggle. Call out for help, my brothers and sisters. Use heaven. Use your friends in heaven. Ask for new friends in heaven if you encounter something, and you do not know of anyone here who has faced that struggle. You will get immediate intervention and assistance. You may not see us standing next to you, but we are there. There are different states of awareness, and generally speaking those on earth, in their bodies, do not see heavenly beings. You just do not have the eyes for that vision. On occasion, when it suits heaven's purposes, earthly souls are given heavenly eyes temporarily so they can convey messages, or be strengthened, or simply draw attention to heaven and God. Those people have a difficult time, because they are not brought immediately to heaven, but must finish their work on earth. They can become lonesome. Do not wish for this type of experience, because it is actually a cross in many ways, and there are great obligations that accompany it. You will have crosses enough without seeking new ones, or additional ones. Embrace the crosses Jesus has placed with you. Sometimes people think they would do better with a different cross. Usually this is a form of rejecting the job Jesus has given them. Remember that Jesus has given you exactly the cross or crosses that will perfect your precious little soul. There is work to be done in your soul, of course. You know this. If there were no work to be done, Jesus would have brought you home. So while you are on earth, with work to be done in your soul, work. We always tell you to serve. You might tire of us repeating ourselves and you might think we have nothing new to say or that we are very dreary in our outlook. But my dearest, most beloved friends, we tell you this because we want you to do well, and we want to enjoy this wonderful heaven with as many of you as possible. We know that through service to others and through service to Jesus, you will grow stronger and stronger. The enemy will not be able to divert you from your path to Jesus, and by walking that path you will pull many in behind you. You might not believe this, thinking you are not that important. But I assure you that through even the quietest, most humble service, Jesus can save many souls. Look at St. Therese, God's little flower. She was not famous. She was not wealthy or powerful. She was obscure. She served God in the smallest, most humble things. Yet she has helped to save many souls, and she has only begun her work. I am Catherine of Siena. I have also been allowed to assist with the salvation of many. We are Jesus helpers. We are here to help you also. Join us because we are very strong. You must live in the world, understanding that you have many friends who are also in the world assisting you. You have an invisible army to help you. This should make you feel very strong and courageous indeed. One word of caution for you, dear brothers and sisters. Our goals are not the goals of the world. Our ways are not the ways of the world. We serve Christ. Our wills always reflect the divine will. Come now. Work for heaven as though you have only the smallest time left. You will not regret any sacrifices you make for him. Please serve. End of message.